getting your mix or master to sit just right across the frequency spectrum, meaning we can clearly make out all the track elements from low frequency content like bass and kick to high frequency content like cymbals and hi-hats can be a difficult task, not to mention the hard work that goes into ensuring that your mix or master will translate well across a variety of playback systems. Tonal Balance Control was created to make this process more achievable for everyone. Tonal Balance Control displays spectrum metering information for the track it's currently inserted on relative to a reference target curve. This is particularly useful when dealing with tonal balance issues that arise during mixing and mastering. This tool can help provide context and direction toward resolving issues with a mix or master lacking low-end power or the high-end brilliance found in professionally produced radio-ready material. For customers familiar with version 1 of Tonal Balance Control, this new generation features a number of exciting changes, like the all-new genre-specific targets you can reference against, a completely resizable interface, per-band soloing, control of the EQ profile and output gain of isotope plugins like Nectar, Neutron, and Ozone, and now the ability to communicate with Relay, allowing you to change the output gain of the track or group of tracks that Relay is placed on. Let's dig into how and when to use tonal balance control in your next mix or master. First of all, we highly recommend that tonal balance control is inserted at the end of the processing chain on your master bus track. This ensures that the spectrum curve you are comparing to the currently selected target curve is after all the other processing in your session, and that adjustments made to neutron or ozone EQ instances will affect the spectrum curve displayed in tonal balance control. I'm going to place my tonal balance control here at the end of my master bus after Ozone 9. Now I'll choose a reference target that best corresponds to my session's vibe. These reference targets were created here at Isotope upon analyzing thousands and thousands of incredible masters and noting commonalities they shared in overall distribution of energy from low, low mid, high mid, and high frequency content. In this case, we're working on a pop track, so I'm going to choose the pop target reference. However, if there's a reference song that you love, you can load it into Tonal Balance Control and the plugin will generate a curve that's representative of the energy profile of that reference track. You can even load a whole folder of songs to create a composite curve. Let's loop the track at a particularly heavy part of the arrangement. Now let's play the track back and see what the meters are telling us about the health of the tonal balance in this mix. First, I'm noticing two things. I'm noticing that our high mids are a little hot, and I'm also noticing that our low end could benefit from more energy. Let's solve both problems in one move. First, I'll use the new band solo feature to see what's contributing to that energy. I'm hearing hi-hats and percussion, and I know that those reside on the DR1 track, which is a group track that has a Neutron EQ on it. So I'll search for it in the Tonal Balance Control drop-down menu and call it up. Now, if an Isotope plugin is interplugin communication compatible, I'll be able to see it in this menu. Let's make some changes to the EQ from Tonal Balance Control to get that percussive energy in check. And I can do that without ever leaving this window, thanks to interplugin communication. That's much better. In addition to my EQ moves, I'm going to bring down the gain too on that bus by using the output slider which controls the output level of Neutron. Let's now compare Tonal Balance Control's energy readouts before and after we made that slight adjustment to the percussion track. What do you notice? 
Well, we have much more energy in our base now. We didn't add any base energy, but this is because the high end from the hats and claps was masking low end energy. With energy removed from the high mids, the lows can now breathe a little more. So as you can see, in just a few moves in tonal balance control, we can make a positive change to the overall energy of the mix or master. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos and head to isotope.com to learn more about mixing, mastering, and to download your free trial of Ozone 9.